Hello everyone, this is Hugo. I hope your day's been good. Um, so before I start this video, we're just going to be on a little look at my eMac. Um, I want to promote my iMelly channel over here. <laughs> here it is. Uh, I've been posting a whole lot of videos uh, in the past week. We have Wearing Hunting Game, Cosmo Channel, and Photo Makeover, Dark Track Racing Duology, Media Close Travel Wayne Forest, and here's all the stills from the videos. Pretty cool, am I right? So, uh, if you want to go watch these, then go to my iMolly channel. There's the URL. I'll probably link it down in the description as well. But, uh, and also subscribe and like the videos. It'll, 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 um, it'll be really appreciated if you do. Alright, so on to my eMac. Huh. Alright, so on that note, uh, let's we'll just go ahead and power this thing on. You have to power it on through the back over right here. Get the power button. You hear the sound, and it should come on in a second. Very old Mac, give it some time. Yep, then there you go. It's kind of flashing, but that's because of. I, because you know, you know, when you record when when you record CRT, T's like this. It's gonna it's gonna tend to flicker like this. Let's see if it does the same like same one. Well, not too badly, but well, anyway, I'll be back in a few minutes when this is done. And here we are. Um, everything is correct. The date is correct up here. The date and time. Yeah, and uh, well, sometimes um when I when I boot this up. Sometimes, I guess it's because of some kind of dead CMOS battery in here or whatever, but uh, it kind of says for a second that, uh, I don't know if it's just uh, because of the computer, something wrong with the computer, or if it's just a software, but sometimes it will tell me uh, the day is wrong, like it's a date set for March something 2001, but it corrects it so almost quickly after. So here it is, that's the date. Uh, let's just see what's in this computer about this Mac. 1.25 GHz power PC G4 processor, 2 GB of DDR SD RAM, which is the highest um, amount of RAM this thing can do. And uh, if you go to more info, you bring up the system profiler. It's the machine name is the Emac, of course. Uh, the bunch of machine models are Power Mac 64 and the CPU. And I can go through all this, but uh, this is one of the later Emac models. Uh, I think this is the USB 2.0. Um, EMAC, meaning that uh, the USB speeds will be very faster than if I got an earlier EMAC. And, uh, and the, and the women's thing, as I said, it's, it's pretty much the highest it can go. So that's a good thing. It does help out a whole lot. Alright, let's just uh, check out some of the feet, um, stuff I have on this thing. Uh, you can see I have a really cool 2007 uh, uh, little background. And uh, I do have some games in here. So... Uh, games and this is all the stuff I have so I have some emulators I have mobile blast I have unreal tournament and yeah I guess I can briefly show you some of the games so here's mobile blast go It'll take forever for unreal to load and that even then well it doesn't take forever it just it's probably not too necessary since I have to have two hands but this one I can have one hand it'd be kind of dumb for me to do so but and I really like this um, display, this uh, CRT display. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's just about it, but I think it's more suited for games like this. You don't really need a whole lot of room to see everything. And let's see if I can make it. Ah, ah! God dang it! Well, that says it all. Uh, exit. I'm stuck on level 41 here. I have a few more levels to go. Anyway. That's Mobile Blast Gold. I have some other games here. I have Quake 3 and again all Emerald Tournament 4, 2004. And I have a bunch of emulators and I have a bunch of classic games here. Well, first off, there's Jazz Jack Rabbit. Oh my god. Oh wow. I'm sorry about that. If you're epileptic, it's kind of looking weird all of a sudden. So apologies. But I do have Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 on here. It's a popular 2D um, computer game. And this is the wrong version, by the way. I'm gonna have to stop. I'll get to this in a second. And there's two versions of Jack, Jack, Jack Robert here. I have the 
classic Mac version. There we go. Hopefully that's not going to screw your wetness or whatever, but I have Jazz Jackrabbit 2 and the OSX version of the game. Very popular game, as I said. Um, oh my god. There we go. I'm going to keep it a little further for a second. Okay, so uh, I'm going to demonstrate Classic Mac here. I just have to click up here, open up any Classic Mac apps. Just click Start Classic. It'll give me a little error about quick time, but it doesn't matter. And it's going to boot up into Classic Mode. And I use Classic Mode for, again, like for like very old apps. You know, that can't natively run by itself on Echo SX. You have to have a little layer of compatibility. But now I can uh, open up any classic game like Prince of Persia. Or that's it, I, really. Um, hmm, now that I think about it, I don't think I have a whole lot to look at. So what about we go to uh, the little classic menu. Go to Apple menu items. And just play it with, uh, with any classic I put the calculator. Uh, let's go to the system settings for um, this thing. Uh, what is it? Control panels, appearance. I'm going to turn the volume so you can hear all the classic sounds. Goodness sake. I'm going to gonna have to deal with this. I don't have anything. I'm just trying to correct itself. That's why. Camera, please. I'll well, it's going to act like this, so apologies for the flickering, but anyway. And this is kind of bullcrap. I can't even change the uh, pattern for this because it's going to always look like this. Unless if I do download all these images and put them into a little folder for pictures, which I have, but uh, I don't see the point of this. Sound. Yeah, I have all the platinum sounds, themes. Again, not completely necessary, but... I know some boomers and that's watching this right now is probably started to hear all these classic Mac sounds. <laughs> and that's that. Uh, I have some other software on here which I use to, for other computer purposes. I have Tenfold Fox. It's one of the last browsers to actually um, support a classic Mac like this. I'm opening up now. And I have some other software to quickly. Uh, I have uh, iMovie which is a old editing software. Well, it's still made, but this is a very old version. It was when HD was kind of cool to have, and uh, he was ten for Fox. And when I go go to our website, uh, Macintosh repository, for instance, Macintosh repository. dot org. I'm gonna go to the front page of this site. Macintosh Garden, that's not what I wanted to go to. Let's try it again. We pause it totally. SimCity Classic. <laughs> sure thing. Okay, there we go. And it says up here, wow, you're actually browsing this website using an old Mac. And it disables uh, SSL, which is this little security encoder for websites. And uh, yeah. I can I can't really do very modern stuff on this because how you know this is a very old computer and old new websites new versions of websites kind of like bog down this thing and unfortunately I can't even get any flash stuff that one which is kind of stu stupid you think you can use flash stuff on this but anyway um that's ten for Fox for you I have there's an old version of iTunes here with a green note instead of a blue note or a white note or black note and I have some songs up uh, it's from luxury elites uh, world class probably my favorite album to list on this since it's the only one and I still like it but uh I'm gonna have the volume entirely up so you can hear this well maybe I should turn it down a little bit so I'd, maybe luxury elite doesn't copyright me I'm going to turn that a visualizer, visualizer because it's the coolest thing on this Mac for iTunes at least. Man. Ooh, man, that's very 2000s to say the least. I think the music that plays here kind of goes along very well with this. I'll probably turn it up just a little. 
Well, anyway, <laughs> that's uh, iTunes on here. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of stuff on here. You know, just some games to play and uh, just some other apps. Not a whole lot, but there you go. That's my Emac for you. I'm going to power the thing off now. And if you want to buy this, then uh, go for it. Uh, I actually got mine at an eBay auction for about $50. Not bad. Uh, yeah, and that's it. <laughs> Um, so thank you for watching this video. Again, you can go check out my iMolly channel. That would be great. And uh, I'll see you around.